It's all doom and gloom as far as the cost of living is concerned, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think we've got uh, some real storm clouds on the horizon, as you've set out. We've got a number of tax increases uh, coming in April. Obviously, council tax is going to go up again as well. Um, but we know inflation is is heading on in one direction only. And at the moment, uh, there's a lot of focus on uh, domestic fuel bills, which have uh, rocketed in the last year as well. So what we suggested is uh, as a temporary measure to ease some of the burden that we scrap VAT on domestic fuel. We think that would go uh, some way to easing the burden a little. Well, it, it, well, it would, but that's going to cost about, what is it, about four billion quid or something, which, I mean, at, at a time when we're running out of money as it is, we haven't got that much money in the coffers, have we? Well, uh, we, we, we calculated it to be about £750 uh, million. And um, what we, we'd say is actually because um, uh, prices have been going up anyway, the Chancellor's got a little bit of wriggle room um, because he's actually been uh, recouping more in VAT receipts than he originally anticipated. And indeed, he's already uh, revised his estimates of uh, what he's going to get from VAT upwards twice already. So we think rather than going into his pockets, this should be going into the pockets of, of those who, who need the help the most. Could this crisis, if you call it that, have been averted? Or do you think because of everything we've been through, particularly obviously the pandemic being so expensive, do you think it was inevitable anyway? Well, I, I, I think... Um... There are a number of decisions here that the government have taken, particularly in relation to, to uh, tax increases and also uh, not increasing the personal allowance, which will uh, be things that could have been avoided. Um, but, I mean, it's interesting that you said we haven't really had uh, inflation on this level for, for nearly a decade now. Uh, and, and we haven't even talked about what that might mean for interest rates and those with mortgages. That, that could be something that's going to uh, really bite people uh, later on in the year as well. Um, but I think we have been on a, on a very difficult uh, economic cycle for a couple of years now. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's quite often the case that when, when you are uh, up and down like that and when there is a stop start to demand that you will get uh, big price surges. And I think it's important that in order to get us through this and, and get the economy onto a, a stable footing, that we make sure that we support people uh, during these critical next few months. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is a bit of a perfect storm, isn't it? When we look at inflation, we look at energy prices, we look at interest rates potentially rising and mortgages and all the rest of it, as you point out. So, but it, it does lead to a very difficult question as to exactly how much can, can actually be done to help the people in the poorest situations. Well, that, that's always a, a question for uh, the government of the day and what priorities they have. And clearly, they have a lot of uh, money they need to, to claw back because they've expended a lot on uh, on, on the, the, the pandemic. And indeed, they may still need to, to do that. But I think what, what we'd say that is if you're uh, making... Uh, it's very difficult for, for people to even eat their homes if they're having to go to food banks because they haven't got enough money at the end of the week. Then actually that is uh, in the long run counterproductive. Not only does it put, push people further into poverty, but it means that they're spending less in their local shops and communities as well. And it, it leads us into, unfortunately, a cycle of, of, of low growth, which we, you, which we all want to avoid. Do you come across this yourself? I mean, in, what do your constituents say to you? Are they absolutely worried about the forthcoming year? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, the the, the number of uh, price increases they're seeing already for a whole range of goods is is is, is quite shocking. Um, and, and I mean, you only need to go to to the supermarket and see every time you go that the, the cost of things has got, gone up by a couple of pence. And uh, unfortunately, because energy prices are still uh, on the rise and they take some while to feed through into uh, the goods on, on the shelves. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more of that. So I, I do think that, that this support is, is absolutely critical at this time.